Hey everyone! Today's video is all about Ipsy versus Birchbox. And this is for the month of July, so we're going to compare July Birchbox to July Ipsy. Um, for those of you who don't know, Birchbox and Ipsy are both subscription services that you can purchase. It's reoccurring, so it happens every month. They both cost about $10, which is why you're going to see so many YouTube videos about people comparing one or the other because they want to know which is better for their money. Um, for me personally, it kind of started off with Ipsy being kind of blah when I first got it, and I've been getting Ipsy for probably a couple years now. I, I didn't really like it. Of course, at the time, I don't think I really appreciated it for what it was, but it was also kind of starting out, so it wasn't as great. And it came to be one of my most favorite makeup sampling bags that I've gotten. Birchbox, on the other hand, started off really strong, and I feel like it's kind of gone to this place where it's not as great as it was. I still have months that I'm excited for it. So I continue to get it until another sampling service comes along that's about the same price that I'm really going to be like, yes. The Birch Box is uh, this month sponsored by Women's Health and the box, I think this is a Birch Box first, um, it has this really cute pattern on it. It's like yoga pants and exercise stuff, which is awesome. I save all my birch boxes. I use them to make organizers and things like that. Like if, I don't know if you can see like over here, this one right here that has the paper on it right behind the candles. That one is made with birch boxes and Disney World Magic Band annual pass. Magic Band, you know what I'm talking about? The Magic Bands from Disney. Yeah, the boxes, those came in also that. Kind of one of the few things that I can find that I like to store my stuff in right now. I'm still kind of looking for an organizer that I like, so that's what I do with these. I also use these to send people stuff if I need like a shipping container of some sort. These work great. As you can see, the box underneath is red, and then the inside has blue tissue paper with the red box. And the first thing you get is a card uh, which gives you a free Marcel Lux gloss cream in Bellissima when you buy any Marcel product. So I'll have to go on and check and see what Marcel products are that I can actually purchase. And then you got your card, which this is uh, sponsored by Women's Health. But the theme this month is Power Up. Always Instagram my box. Mostly all my boxes um, get on Instagram and Twitter. So if you follow me on there, you're gonna see what my box is like since some people's boxes aren't exactly the same. But we're, I digress. Again, blue paper. And the first thing I see in here is this power up. Um, it says 12 bite sized challenges. So it's like a little book, like different things, like eat veggies for breakfast. That's challenge number three. So it's like challenges. 12 different challenges that you can use to power yourself up during the month of July. Um, the first thing I have is Hello Body Cream um, by Harvey Prince. It's in this cute little yellow container. Um, it says with Sicilian lemon, Spanish mandarin botanicals, and shea butter. And I love shea butter. It's really great for dry skin. I don't really smell the lemon too much, but my nose has kind of been off lately. That's a little better. I'm not sure I really adore the scent of this. It's kind of a uh, more lotion-y smell than anything else, and which is fine. If it does the job, I guess it's okay. So I, I'm on the fence. I kind of, kind of am half and half about this one. And then the other tube, which is kind of the same size, is Wish Shave Cream. And the scent is acai grapefruit. Oh, it really does smell good. It smells like grapefruit for sure. And I love the packaging on this. It's very retro. I love retro stuff. So um, it's supposed to moisturize and soothe. It's got jojoba seed oil, organic coconut oil, organic shea butter. This could be one of those products from Birchbox that I actually want to purchase again, um, depending on how much it is. Uh, let's see. A full size one of these is $20. We'll have to see how big the full size one is, see if I like it, but I'm excited to try this. All right, we're gonna go into the little pillow box, and of course it is red also with the July 2014 on the side. 
And there are two items in here. Three items in here. So here's that Marcel 8-in-1 Power Serum that they were saying you could buy a full-size product and get a new one of these. Uh, this basically, I guess, is for your skin hydrates, firms, lifts, and plumps fine lines. So I will be excited to try this one because of course I'm starting to get those fine lines in my age so this might be a helpful product. And then I got this um, honey cream wash ginger aid. It's 100% natural and 100% vegetarian which is oh, their shower gel. I do not like foil packets but I think these are really fun. I like the design. They're very summery. However I think I'm okay with these kind because these foil packets um, are for one use. I don't like it when they're trying to like give you shampoo and conditioner and stuff that they want you to use a couple times to get the feel of it and they only give you one. So this one they gave you two so that's awesome. I can get more of a feel for it one time use package. These are purity cosmetics. You can buy these at 100percentpure.com um, and they're in San Jose which is where I'm from so that's kind of fun also. Um, what I do like about this though is that they tend to be a little more all natural um, and that interesting because so is this product right here. So in my mind I think that maybe Birchbox is trying to give you more like natural stuff. I hope so. I hope they're skewing a little bit more towards a mixture of the two because um, I would love to try out more of these all natural things. And then lastly this probably is the product I'm most excited about. This is the Cynthia Raleigh uh, lip gloss. Oh, lip stain. And it, it's in the color Valentine. Um, a couple months ago I got the Cynthia Rowley eyeliner pencil in like a silver color and I adore it. I use it on my waterline um, to make my eyes pop when I just want a little bit more shimmer and sparkle. And of course the packaging is super fun because it's got those gold dots on it. I wish I had more money so I could buy these in full size because they're cute. So yeah, I can't wait to try this. So. In summary for a birch box, I'm happy with it. I'm happier than I have been in the past couple months, mostly because of the natural items. I'm excited to try the shave cream, the shower gel, and of course the Cynthia Rowley lip gloss. So three of the five items, yes. Everything is sample size. Um, I would say maybe this is deluxe size, but almost everything else is sample sized. So to me, that's a little on the negative side, but it's okay. Let's go on to Ipsy. I have to tell you, every time we go get the mail and I see the person who's getting the mail from our family walking with this envelope, I'm always like, Ipsy, yay! So here is my Ipsy. And of course it comes with the card. Um, I believe the theme is sensationally sun-kissed. Sometimes I will get products that don't fit into the cosmetics bag that they give you and it's outside of it and that actually excites me a lot because I feel like I'm getting something big. Um, this month everything fit inside the bag, which is fine. This is what the bag looks like. It's, it's on a scalloped pillow. It feels a little cheap. In the past, the cosmetics bags have been so cute. They've had different themes. Um, I feel like they were better designed. This one looks cheap, smells like plasticky leather. I don't, I don't really particularly like it. I mean, I love pink. I love it's a bag. It's, it utilizes things. So maybe I'll give this away at some point. It just started to get dark outside. Maybe I'll give this away in one of my giveaways or something. So in the bag, what do we got? Uh, the first thing that I have is the Elizabeth Mott Tints and Sass. I have to say that carefully or else I say something else. It's Tints and Sass. It is um, the lip and cheek color. It's kind of like a stain. Okay, so here's the package. Um, it looks kind of like a garter and then here's the actual thing that has, looks like it has like garter belts on it um, and it has an applicator kind of like a sponge and it smells like cherry cough drop. Maybe a little bit of alcohol in there but not as much. Um, oh, I love Staniac by The Balm and I hope this is kind of like it. Um, it looks like it's about the same color 
as Staniac. I've never tried Benetton and I've heard some people compare it to that as well. Um, that reminds me, one of the things that really made me sad about this bag is um, I watch like all the sneak peeks on YouTube and stuff and I was like, I want that, I want that, I want that. And I got not one single item that I was really excited to get. So there's that. I actually am very excited about this item. Even though it wasn't one of the ones that I originally wanted, I am excited about it. And then I got Be Fine Food Skincare with rosemary, pomegranate, and rice. Also paraben free and it looks like it has vegetarian proteins in it. Well, it's a moisturizer. I, I'm kind of, kind of psyched about this. A little bit psyched. I'm pretty psyched about this. I don't... It smells like lotion, but not in a bad way. I kind of like how it's a little fresh. All right, mascara. Woo! It's by Pure. P-U-R, Pure. Um, it's called Big Look Waterproof Extreme Mascara. Of course, it's waterproof, so I'm extremely beat, but only by like this much. Um, I think they outdid themselves in our, their last box. I got this really awesome eyeliner and a really nice lip color, and so I kind of was hoping for that kind of excitement again. I'm not overly the top excited about this, but I like it, okay? So if you're interested in um, either Birchbox or Ipsy, I have both the links below. Um, you can sign up through my link if you would like. Um, other than that, um, I have a couple other sample boxes that I'll be uploading soon to some other companies that I got. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribe and like so that you can be um, on this channel and know what's going on when I'm doing it, right? Um, also, if you want to comment below, tell me what you got in your Birch Box or your Ipsy that might be different and if you liked it or if you liked or disliked any of the products that I got, I want to know too. Um, so we can kind of start a conversation about that. I hope that you guys had a really fun time uh, watching this video and I hope to see you again real soon.